CHUM is a nonprofit social services agency in Duluth, started back in 1973 and is sponsored and governed by an interfaith coalition of 40 faith communities. The organization offers emergency food, shelter, advocacy, support, and outreach throughout the city. Recently, CHUM's longtime leader retired, and a new leader is now at that organization's helm. Joining us is Lee Stewart, the former leader at the CHUM, and John Cole is the new executive director of that organization. Welcome. Thank you both for being here. Lee, when you look back at all the time you had at CHUM uh, during this leadership, what, uh, what areas do you think uh, have most settled in your mind? What did CHUM do that you feel that you helped to really truly contribute? A couple of things come to mind. One is the, the creation of the Steve O'Neill Apartments, you know, for 44 yes, families with certainly. children. You know, that was certainly another one. One that was less visible, I think, to the public was that we uh, lowered the what we call the barriers to getting into shelter so more people could come in. We allowed pets. We went through a behavioral lens instead of sobriety lens. So it would be uh, more welcoming to people. And then uh, the third is the warming centers are now institutionalized, not oddly, you know, just like one-offs. And then fourth, our COVID response would be the things that, because we did a really good job at keeping that at bay through most of the sure. pandemic. So those are the four things that come to mind. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Winter, of course, is a, a particularly hard time for people who are vulnerable and, and out on the streets. John, are you seeing um, more people uh, starting to, to come in and want to use CHUM services as the weather gets a little bit colder around here? Absolutely. We've been very surprised mm -hmm. at the turnout. Uh, we are operating uh, uh, most times at capacity now in the warming centers that we have at the, at the Rainbow. And our drop-in center ha has shown an unusually high amount of persons coming in. Mm -hmm. Plus the shelter is, you know, it's regular 80 sure. beds, so. Mm -hmm. So so if you're at capacity so often, are there are there plans to do things to, to kind of ease some of that demand or to create more space for people? Uh, there actually is a new center being developed right now in, in the mm -hmm. Lincoln Park area, and that will give us expanded capacity to be able to um, have um, folks come in from the, the cold. And so that warming center uh, would become operational in, in January. Lee, are there pockets of poverty in Duluth, and if so, where are they? Well, I think uh, there are, but there's more than just the pockets. I mean, when you, when you look at the straight demographics, some of our neighborhoods that you know, Liz has pointed out for years are more challenged than others. Lincoln Park, Central Hillside, uh, West Duluth, Morgan Park. Uh, but the downtown area the, the, is, is one where that, that's the lowest income and mm -hmm. more, most, most challenged. But in every neighborhood in the city, uh, you'll find people who are really struggling. Lee, you, you spent a, a number of years here at CHUM and in other capacities. Is our community making progress when it comes to um, alleviating the, the problem of homelessness or, or, hung, or hunger in our community? We're doing a better job, on, from my perspective, on mm -hmm. hunger than we are on homelessness. The drivers are homeless, of homelessness are, are very complicated. And we haven't yet as a society, not just Duluth, Minnesota, the United States, uh, dealt with the absolute lack of affordable housing for people. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an average of, a, you know, I don't know, by now, almost a year and a half for people between the time they mm -hmm. start being signed up for, to be considered for supportive housing and can actually move into it. That's a statewide issue. So until we really look at that part of the system, it's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. And to create supportive housing specifically for people who need extra help with mental health and, and chemical dependency. And I'm not saying that's the reason people are homeless, but homelessness sort of exacerbates that and builds mm -hmm. off of that. John, you have said there is a world of unseen in Duluth, a world full of need. What do you mean by that? That um, as folks move around, it, it is... Um, an invisible portion of the population um, that is experiencing hunger. We are serving over 750 households in the community. And, and that is because of the economic situation, uh, that these persons are now needing CHUM services to, to, to have just have food in, in, in their cupboards and be able to put uh, food on their table for their children. Um, over 4,000 pounds of food being distributed every month. And, and so persons would not necessarily see that, but it is a, a stark reality for a lots of persons in our community. So there's more poverty than perhaps most of us even realize. That's correct, yeah. 
And there's, and there's the edge of poverty. I mean, poverty is a technical kind of thing. Sure, People certainly. who don't have enough money to meet the basic needs of their family. Housing is very expensive. Food is more expensive. Heat is expensive. I was at the grocery store the other day, and a woman was at the bargain piece of it and picked up some hamburger and said, I, I just can't do it. And she put it in, and she had little kids with her, and I thought, oh. John, has, has anything been particularly surprising to you or, or have you gained some some real insights as you you're starting to get to know the population in Duluth and the community here? I was struck by the high incidence of mental illness mm -hmm. and chemical addiction that exists within the, the homeless population and the fact that um, our services uh, though we do have services there isn't a res residential component so that the folks can work towards overcoming the obstacles and so we uh, are, are left with, with, with lots of folks in the shelter, um, and, and shelter is not a good place to be trying to overcome obstacles or resolve life crises. Mm -hmm. How can people who are watching the show tonight help, help you out in your work? I think they can be supportive. We are advancing a five-year plan to address um, unsheltered homelessness in this community. It's going to cost like $33 million over a five-year period. Um, creating housing and providing opportunities for persons who are unsheltered um, to have safe spaces. So it's going to need um, will from the people and from the government and from the, the, all the sectors combined to be able to address that. And with that, we have to leave. Thank you very much, John Cole, new executive director of CHUM, Lee Stewart, the retired leader. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you. you.